Parental discretion is advised. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, are you enjoying the Wrestling Mayhem Show? Are you finding value in these conversations? Do you want to support it so we can become even bigger? Check out patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, it's a wrestling Here, mayhem. Set a timer for 45 minutes. What the fuck? Huh? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Three, two. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show 444. I'm sure that means something, right? Four Horsemen, maybe? I don't know. Um, I'm Sorgatron, uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm all on the studio, but I got a lot of friends online. Because they're real friends, right? Mom? Anyways, with me, one of my real friends from Johnstown, PA, is Bobby F. J. Town. How you doing, sir? Good. I'm a lot more awake than I was last night. That's the good. Show. I was so happy to see <laughs> you guys. Like, to see that everybody was in the wrap-up last night when we jumped in there. If you so... want to check that out, it's over. Go look for the raw wrap-up over on iTunes and Stitcher right now um, and, and on YouTube uh, under our, our YouTube page. But these guys all stepped up when I was in Buffalo. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and it was a really cool show. And you, you got the 20 minutes. So thanks, Bobby. And I friends. Was tired. You were tired. <laughs> you, but you were there. That was, that was 80% sleepy. of it. Also with me from the nether uh, realm is uh, Papa Lunchbox. Papa Lunchbox. LB? Uh, LB. What? What? Hey, oh, what, shit. What? Oh. Hey, hi everybody. Listen, Sorg, it's a really delicate time right now. I have been uh, playing Supercard pretty much the entire day. Oh. Um, and uh, I just made the semifinals of uh, the King of the Ring tournament, which I didn't think I was even going to qualify for. It's a very delicate time. And uh, if you hear an alarm go off, uh, it's because it's time for me to uh, uh, recoup my superstars and uh, and move along. On top of that, I got uh, I got a, like a, an epic um, an epic Rob Van Dam I got to deal with. I got to level him up. I got a, a second page. I got to I got to level them up and combine them. And uh, and uh, I got like seventeen Virgils. I don't even know what to do with them. So uh, combine so them all feet. to make an ultra supreme Virgil. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait, 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 LB, oh, LB, you're actually you're actually setting a timer to check in on King of the Ring. Sorg, listen, I, if I don't set the timer, I will forget. And all of the work That's I've true. put in That's will true. be for naught, okay? okay. I need, I'm, I'm at a certain, I'm at a level right now. It's a very delicate situation. I'm going to get like two really high level cards. I can't just throw that away, Sorg. I can't just throw it away, okay? I, I get, Lunchbox. Okay. Yeah. Lunchbox, do you think you can com- combine the Virgils, like uh, a Voltron of Virgils? That's a, that's a horrifying prospect uh, because it would uh, it would be like probably the most technologically advanced thing in the entire world, and yet it would still not know how to use a phone and get its and, own and, motherfucking and baseball scores. Nobody would still pay attention to it and not go in line for it at conventions. <laughs> <laughs> he could yell at everyone for not giving him money. That's true. It's, that's true. Still gonna uh, chop me for uh, taking LB, a picture. LB, LB, I'm just saying, I'm like, like that, that 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 I've only considered setting a timer so i can check in on supercard uh let me tell you what you should do is uh that you should do that you should set a timer because really? let me tell you it's the perfect what are they called pomodoro timers where you work a little bit and then rest a little bit it's perfect oh you work a little bit and then uh you play supercard for a little bit and get your people all rested up and 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 just move along from there it's a productivity hack sorg I'm gonna play yeah. wow. right now. That's a, that's a... for you, the listener of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, the finest wow. anywhere internet anywhere on well, the podcast. I'm listening. I'm playing the game. He is. He is over there loading it up. Um, some of us has to uh, uh, produce a podcast. So there it is. This right is... there. Look at oh, it. Look at it. There he is. Look at it happening. I don't know what's happening. Come and find me. I'm popping. Lost lunch. to a guy who has Eva Marie. Bobby, come on. <laughs> okay, anyways, while they're uh, dealing with that, and we consider our new intervention video, um, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, where we talk professional wrestling. I hope you love that intro by Basic Sickness. Check them out at basicsickness.com. Give them some props, because he just had a bad luck 
incident with a car. Uh, also, ran into him in the mosh pit at the Insane Clown Posse concert uh, last Wednesday. Good to see him again. Um, also, you can check us out over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Check out this show. Check out all the other shows. We have five shows that are done every week uh, amongst the members of the Mayhem Nation. We have a game show. We have wrap-ups uh, moments after uh, NXT and Raw. Also talking a little bit of Impact Wrestling, uh, as well as the Indie Mayhem Show, where we interv- interview everybody every week. Every week. We might have something lined up with somebody very soon that you, that was in that video we talked about last week at the Performance Center. Uh, so stay tuned there. And of course, we got the great Danny Vega uh, coming up uh, here t- tonight. Uh, you can also drop us a line to that email address at Good times! Good times! Good times at Wrestling Mayhem Show. Dot com. Uh, you can drop us a line to 412-206-WMS0. We're at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. <laughs> we, we, something's happening in the Hangout. Uh, Facebook, Google Plus, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. And please subscribe to us on YouTube. Spreaker, Stitcher, YouTube, iTunes, and the iHeartRadio. So with that, let's start. Oh, hey, big thanks also to our Patreon supporters, our patrons. Uh, Woo! No, no, we're not at that point yet. Uh, check it out, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show or click the link over at our Woo! site. No, not yet. Uh, of God course, our it. friends over at the wrestlingrevolution.com and of course, Bo Diggity. Woo! Woo! Close enough. Um, <laughs> on that note, let's start the show now the only way we know how other than super card addiction which has kind of creeped its way into our lives look, look john cena is fighting with john cena right now uh, oh my it, john cena won it's it's over no! there it's over there that was not my john cena lost the other the one. which one wins oh. so we do have an email from pierre Kelly. no no that's not Ooh. it's a ha 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 no uh. that's a ha ha racist ha 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 french French is a race, Sorg. It is. It is. I, I don't know that. He entitles us, um, what? Uh, this election day, lock, looking up uh, YouTube and out of nowhere came Xavier Woods, alias Consequences Creed, getting a new look and a new feel. What did the E deserve to do this? What? What did the Oh, e- yes. Speaking of racist. Uh, I'll give you a link and let you be the judge. We did see this last night on Raw, and it was very, very confusing. Um, I didn't know if it was an entrance video. I, I couldn't really uh, figure much of this one out. And of course, then I don't have anything prepared for this part. Uh, I, I'll have it up momentarily. What do you guys think of the Xavier Witch change? Can you guys pull yourselves away from the super card for a moment Bullshit. to let us know? But no, no. Okay, Papa Lunchbox, <laughs> what did you think of, of this new iteration of Xavier I- Woods? I think it sucks. I think that it's uh, it's bullshit, and it is uh, uh, you know it's it's not you know horribly racist the way Crime Time was, yeah. but it is a little bit racist. <laughs> there was the perfect tweet last night. It was a conversation between Vince McMahon and, and Xavier Woods, where Vince says, uh, "What did you say you got your PhD in again?" And Xavier Woods said, "What he got is psychology," and then Vince said. No, that's not believable. You got your PhD in soul. <laughs> Which, yeah. you know, probably was an actual conversation that happened backstage. I, I, I've always th- kind of my issue with this uh, last night, uh, the you know, the idea of like, why, you know, are we watching WC Nitro? Are we seeing the cat or, uh, uh, you know, and his James, Bra- James yep. Brown uh, 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 stuff from back then? Mm-hmm. Johnny uh, be good. Johnny be good. Yeah, Johnny I mean, like bad. we've done this how many yeah. times? Was it just like it was high time that we just did it again at this Ernest point? Ernest Cat Miller. Ernest the Cat Miller. Now, thank you. I, I, I almost said Ernie Lad. I'm like, no, that's the wrong cat. Um, but uh, Ernie yeah. Lad also had that game. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> no, no. So it's just it's just annoying. I mean, I I know that you know for the most part, and it's wrestling has gotten a lot better about this. But mm-hmm. you know, gimmicks are stereotypes. All the famous gimmicks, all the most used gimmicks, are based off of stereotypes and everything like that. I mean, for Christ's sake, we've got a beefy Russian rampaging around, tearing down <laughs> American flags and kicking soldiers in the face. Wrestling isn't known for its subtlety, but you know. They, it, it doesn't mean I can't have hope for something better to happen. I mean, Jesus Christ, why? Why does Xavier Woods have to be a fucking like gospel singer, James Brown uh, person? Why can't he be a member of the authority? Why, why did Biggie Langston speak like a televangelist for a while there? Right? 
<laughs> right? Biggie Langston is hilarious. He is absolutely hilarious. Why? It just it just it it, it makes me feel gross and and makes it difficult for me to uh, defend wrestling. But mm. then again, we don't know really what it is yet. That's I mean, true. it was just a short vignette. Uh, it was a vignette. Give him credit for that. Mm-hmm. That's true. You know, and, I am happy that Xavier Woods is getting on television. And and that's another thing. Like with these Wyatt family vignettes, it's kind of similar to that because they totally went the opposite direction with Rowan's character now. <laughs> like if you saw SmackDown, the way they re-debuted him, he was watching See No Evil, okay? Mm-hmm. Kane walks in. He looks at Kane sideways with his sheet mask on. Takes it off and then says, "You scared me." It was. I was just like, "Why would you take the time to re-debut his character in a vignette like that and then totally switch it up?" Yeah. Maybe they'll do that with 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 uh, Xavier Woods here. Maybe they're still going on with the stable with uh, uh, Biggie and and Kofi too. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just a piece of that. So. Oh, and maybe they're part of the congregation. Still yeah. a little racist, but whatever. It's, it's... The truth. The truth. Uh, not truth commission. Uh, right to censor. I want to see them do that. Uh, I don't know why. I just. Uh, that was the greatest faction ever. No, not correct. So, <laughs> what do you think of all this? Um, I, I again, I don't think we need another James Brown wannabe character. No. I, I've just, I, I, I've seen it too many times. I think I see mm-hmm. it even more in the indies. It just doesn't doesn't need to happen. Um, I, but hopefully Xavier Woods makes good of a bad situation. Uh, somebody last night. Or actually, I think it might have been Jen on the way home here, uh, saying uh, that you know Sandell's a, 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 you know the best of a bad situation, mm-hmm. you know, and and he has oh, been, yeah. and it's so entertaining, so very entertaining. Um, so uh, I, yeah, I we'll see, we'll see. Fandango looked like the stupidest thing for the longest time, didn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, Where's Fandango now. What, like what you know, vignettes are only part of the story. You know, uh, look at a Razor Ramon vignette now. <laughs> he was a bad motherfucker back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tony Montana without being Tony Monta- Montana due to copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we, uh, uh, like I said, we're, uh, thank you, Pierre Kelly. If you guys want to uh, drop an email again, drop that to good times at wrestling Good Mayhem times! Show. Dot com. I only have two of them in here right now. Uh, but we got a third coming at us also from the Pittsburgh area. She was uh, my travel buddy for our trip up to Buffalo. We had another one too, but we'll get to that in a moment. Jen Carlin joins us on the line. Jen, how you doing? I, I know it's been so long since I saw you earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? Uh, she's muted out. I don't know what's going on. I'm fine. Okay. okay. <laughs> but we um uh we decided to uh take a trip up to Buffalo uh for Monday night raw. Uh that was last Sword night. Up to Buffalo. Oh, I was waiting for those jokes. Um good job. Good job. <laughs> uh and and uh so so we were at the home of the Sabres, which is also weird uh coming from Pittsburgh and also realizing the worst uh, hockey team in the land. The worst hockey team in the <laughs> land. Um oh, yes. I realized I should have worn my Penns jersey. That would have been amazing. Um and uh and and and, and, and we had a good trip with Jen's Jen's dad came along. Um, he did. He did. He did. He did. Uh, and she was holding up there. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't catch you there, uh, Jen. Well, first of all, I, I guess we'll get on that since you have your your. Do you have your swords handy? Oh, my sword. <laughs> Matt, give me my sword. So this is the most swagged Ew. out raw I've been to. <laughs> she's holding up. She's holding up here a a uh, Mike's Harder Lemonade uh, koozie and a Hercules sword, foam Mike's sword. Harder Lemonade. Yeah, that's what they were advertising. I presume they did this off air. Did they add more alcohol to it? Yeah, yeah, it's harder. Um, so we got a bottle koozie with WWE logo on one side and Mike's iced tea on the other side and a Hercules like foam sword for the DVD release coming up, uh, which they also mentioned to show a show a trailer again, you know, starring the rock. I've never been to a WWE event that like gave out swag like this. By scantily clad women. Yes. Yeah. Some very not PG women in like, like i was trying to recall back were they wearing like ballerina skirts or something 
They were wearing ballerina skirts. Sort of. They were wearing They're called tutus. Tutus. They're called tutus. tutus. Thank you. <laughs> they were ballerina skirts, tutus that were made for like a one-year-old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and 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 midriff showing it, it was like, and it's like it's Buffalo. It's cold. Come on. Um, Sorg but, in a Buffalo. <laughs> Sorg in a Buffalo. Keep going, man. Okay, okay. We're in a ballerina search. Good job. So that was the oh, first. Really? That was the first interesting thing. Now, I know you had some comments about uh, you know uh, being in this different arena, especially compared to Pittsburgh. Oh, we're so spoiled. <laughs> so spoiled. <laughs> I will never complain. I will never, ever, ever complain about Consol Energy Center again. They know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. They know what they're doing. How long did we stand outside of the arena? Yeah, there was like apparently one entrance, and uh, they let everybody in. Yo, yo, WWE fashion, like a half an hour before they, you know, bell time. First of all, you know, for fifteen thousand people to find their seats or whatever it is. Um, so I that was you, interesting. I bet you guys didn't count down when you were entering from thirty. What? Like no. at the Royal Rumble. Oh, jeez! Everybody counted down from thirty to enter the building. Nice. <laughs> really? That was we, fun. Oh, yeah. we missed that. I think we came in the back way on that one. Yeah. So we came in that's my yeah. favorite way. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. uh, we talked a little bit briefly when we joined you guys on the wrap up, uh, but I know we noticed a few other, you know, interesting things. Of course, it was interesting to see the uh, Rusev, Rusev, uh, uh, Sheamus match. Yes, half of the arena was gone. Rusev crush. By the time that that happened, um, I, you know, I I think WWE like I understand what they're trying to do here by trying to give something extra on the network, but it's a school night, kids, and uh, already like people were already leaving like during the main event, and or before and before, like I feel like this happens all the time. We don't notice it quite as much. Um, and of course, like I, I, I've seen dark matches where, yeah, it's half of the arena and, and that, that's pretty bad that I, I guess they, I didn't go back to watch the match, but I remember just like looking at, sh- they were just showing shots of him holding up the belt and directly behind him underneath the flag with just a mass of empty seats on the close up shot. Um, but, uh, I, and I don't know, how did that come off on, on, on your side? Like, was it that noticeable? LB? Uh, I didn't actually watch the match. I oh. apologize, Bobby. Um, I, yeah, it looked kind of empty. Uh, th- there were a lot of the bottom seat people stayed, or unless that meant they came from the top of the section down to the bottom. But on camera, it looked pretty full yet. Yeah, I think there was some of that stuff going on. Yeah. Mhm. <laughs> so, um, but other than that, uh, we, you know, you know, it, it's always fun uh, also to kind of see. I want to say the common people that come to a raw show. Um, you kind of get an idea, like like two separate instances of people that were convinced that El Torito was Rey Mysterio. <laughs> oh, that's True. what we all thought when he first came. When he first convinced, came. but like they're seeing him in person, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, do yeah. they really think he's that short? He's the third <laughs> Kara. I tell you what, Sorg, those people behind us were magical. <laughs> now you had some experiences your, uh, on your end as well. Um, uh, you got a little more. I, I after hearing some of the conversations, I just did not like. There was a lot of the. I'm not going to correct these people because it's just going to be a hour <laughs> conversation. Um, what, what did you have over on your end of the row? My end of the row. Yeah. Well, when we first got there, people were, were in our seats. And then warfare. they came back and sat next to me. And they were in your seat. And then they were in the entire different section. And they yeah. should have been. Yeah. Um, but I know you had a, a, few, a, a few kids in front of you, too. Oh my gosh, those kids were awesome. They were so cute. Usually kids at wrestling shows are. <laughs> they were they were Randy. my entertainment. Yeah. After after now we all know who I was there for. First match. John Cena. No, I'm not there for John Cena. I'm sorry, I'm sorry he didn't show up. Yeah. yeah. Twitter. Always the first one there. Always the last one to leave. Yeah, whatever. 
Hey, um, you were there for Zack Ryder. You were happy because he was no, on. Road. Was <laughs> <laughs> that was my go potty, go how get. Many, I was going to say, how many pictures did you waste on that match? <laughs> None. But I did take my cell phone with me because the last time I did that, that's when I walked into Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns isn't there. No, but I still took it anyway because you never know who's going to pop up. Mr. Roman Reigns. That's, that's how Raymond, Roman Reigns got his hernia in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> ran, into, ran, into Jen, ran into him. Ah, look at my eyebrows. Ah. <laughs> Great visual for our audio, audio listeners. <laughs> that's why I said, look at my eyebrows. Ah, they know what's going on. Come on in, about 20 minutes to the video, you can see the eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah. It was a good run, though. It was good. Yeah, it was. Um, like you know, I, I was kind of like, uh, you know, heading up, like, man, I hope it's a good raw. I don't want to like come up over here for like a mediocre. Oh my god, raw. Um, right. And uh, it, it, I was really pleased with that. Uh, we had, uh, you know, the worst match was probably Big Show and Henry. <laughs> That's, oh, that was horrible. That's when you they mean the shoving match. The shoving match. Yeah. They they that's when the chanting for one in particular of the Buffalo Bills was going on. Um he stood up and Damn acknowledged. Right you know. I just know he's the curly haired one. Uh, the curly haired one. The blonde yeah. the blonde curly haired one. Um otherwise, uh the crowd crowd was not impressive. Crowd did not uh the, there's the CM Punk chance. Mm-hmm. Poor AJ. Poor AJ. Some point they have to like have her turn around. Are they? I don't know if they're just like hoping people wear themselves out, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, nothing too good. Uh, people became unglued when Orton came out for the run in, and uh, of course, Vince coming out. Not at first, though, with Vince for Vince, like, like, it will, like, I don't think, like. Anybody believed it at first until he came out. Yeah, yeah. Until it came out. Mm-hmm. Just like those those ladies behind us who heard Stone Cold's theme song and jumped up and thought he was there. Mm-hmm. Well, like in, in our in the hangout last night, we just like weren't even paying attention to the beginning of Raw. Yeah, it was like we were okay. just talking and like and and I think Eamon was the one who was like, uh, "You guys know Vince is on, right?" And we're like, "Oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, really?" <laughs> and it is, it is, and I wonder. Like, I don't think I could watch Raw by myself. Like, the few times where I haven't hopped in to the hangout with you guys, it just feel like where I'm like, I want to pay attention to Raw, you know? Like, I do SmackDown, like I do NXT, like I do, you know, maybe a pay per view or something. Um, and it, it just doesn't seem to last. But with you, you know, with you guys, we're more casually wear, watching it. You know, we're talking, we're, we're, you know, carrying on. We're like, we're just like, this is a social thing that happens around Raw versus then we're sitting there and it's a Monday night party. And, and, but versus, you know, us, like, we have no choice but to kind of take in everything that's happening and all of the hundreds and hundreds of commercials, it seems. I don't know if this is, the, <laughs> this might be the first time, maybe the first time I've attended Raw since the three hours, um, you know, aside from the uh, Christmas episode that they kind of hot shot through right um it's a even there it's 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 rough you know i can't imagine having kids at this thing and keeping them entertained you know do they show did they show the app stuff during commercial breaks on the fight and tron uh no like interviews absolutely not absolutely not and we kind of get a hint i think we get a kind of hint when they go to break because all the screens turn to black for a second and they come back so like we like sometimes you'll see that blink and you're like, okay, they're on the app right now and and, and that kind of stuff. Um, other interesting stuff we saw them working on the table for a long time before the main event match. Like to the point we thought they were setting up for them, you know, for a table break, but apparently mm-hmm. they're reinforcing it or something. Um, yeah. Like they were still there working on the table with the cover off of it, with them talking there. When I know they had a shot of like st- when Stephanie and Triple H came out and they're sitting at ringside, like they're still working on it right beside them. Like it was kind of interesting to see what they kind of obscure while they have to work on something else. I mean, it's all it's you know it's all misdirection, right? You know, kind of huh. like I, I remember sitting there with uh, with Matt uh, at that SmackDown, and like we turned around and like like they had something set up, and we didn't we didn't even see where it came from. <laughs> you know, like you ever like 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 you turn around and like the superstar stuff is gone and the raw setups on the ring, and you're like, "What was I doing?" Eh, which most of it is like they have Magic. a com- most of it is like, "Hey, we're gonna run the WrestleMania 30 promo that we run the entire year." You know, 
Uh, and, but it gets your attention. It gets people into it. So WWE actually has ring wizards that set up the ring. Super ring fast. Pretty much. Pretty much. They're ninjas. They wear ballerina skirts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ninja and, and king hats king hats yep. also i know that uh amen is very jealous because we actually got the uh cesaro uh ambrose <laughs> match that he was promised last week in san antonio also this thing this is not the first time this has happened so so they've gone from san antonio to buffalo how many times, like we've seen Ring of San Honor, San Antonio to Buffalo. We like we, we see like Ring of Honor shows here in the Pittsburgh area, and they're in like San Antonio the next week. Like, what is this connection? You know, I think it's Amon. Uh, it's got to be Amon. They know it's Amon. <laughs> Good old fashioned Amon connection. Amon connection. Um, Amen. We'll find it. <laughs> the be Amon <laughs> connection. All right, yeah. Jen. I, I, do you have any other uh, uh, things you want to bring up uh, about last night's live um, show? I have something I'd, li- oh, I'd like to bring Bobby, up. Bobby, Monday Bobby Monday. would like to bring up something about you at the live show. La- no, not the Me? live show. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What did I do? I just, about... I just had something in raw in general. Okay, that's fine. Um, last week on the show, I came to the realization that Randy Orton is, in fact, my spirit superstar. <laughs> Yes. What happens this week? He loses to Seth Rollins, and they take him out to film a crappy movie. That's my guy. That's who I was going to roll with for the next couple of weeks, and now I have nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Come ride with Dean Ambrose, buddy. I was already on that bandwagon. You're going to but... have a comeback. You'll have a comeback to look forward to, though. Yeah, but I, Bobby, I, probably won't, I probably won't care though by then. I'll be like, oh, Randy Orton's back, great. Bobby, be, I've got, I've got two words for you. Which no. Which is actually a word and a letter. C Nation. <laughs> I got two words for you. No chance. Bobby, it's a magical place. You can, like, rub yourself up against it like a kid. Your John Cena was it's my wonderful. Randy Orton. It's wonderful. I, yeah, I learned to I learned to like Orton, and they took it away from me. And guess God. guess what guess what really worked out well for me? They took it to the papers. Guess what guess what they're never gonna take away from you, Bobby? That's right, your home in the Sea Nation. Oh wow, it's I, happening. Can I just Bobby, can I just Bobby. can I just have a timeshare and stay there for like a week? Oh, you can <laughs> absolutely have a timeshare. <laughs> absolutely i'm 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 i will welcome all into my uh my home in the c nation all right i'll, I'll sign up for a timeshare yeah that's <laughs> how it starts can I have the first can smell I have the... these flowers oh what do they smell like oh that's crystal meth you're hooked again is is it is it is it too packed at christmas time to take christmas week too packed oh no absolutely there's always room in the c nation at christmas time bobby i'll, t- I'll take christmas time you just will not get maid service by Bree Bella. Ah, damn it. Wow. Well, so that's a thing that happened. This, the, the, what about what about um the the third person we had with us, Sorg? Oh yes. Uh we had uh uh Jen Jen Carlin's father, who I did not catch his name. Uh, he's, she's, he's Jen's dad. Carlin's um, no, that's not Mr. That's not, that's, that's not how it works. That's, that's not how that works. No, that's not how that works. That's not how families work, Bobby. Your, your dad also <laughs> took Matt's last name. It was a really weird marriage. Um, but who, but he is, but, but, I'm dumb. but I got to learn a little bit about Jen here. Can we talk? Can I, can I mention this? Is there, is there, um, no, go ahead. so, so I understand why Jen Carlin's is so into wrestling. Um, because her dad did security for WWF shows like back wow. in the day. Oh, really? And she got to meet a lot of the guys back in the day, including a story where I never got clear about her being left in Ultimate Warrior's limousine. Um, what? What? Yeah. Did it take you to Parts Unknown? <laughs> it's it's, it's a, a limo <laughs> to Parts Unknown. Did, did that turn into the rocket ship to the moon? <laughs> Saturn, oh, whatever it was. Oh dear! <laughs> now so, we're going into tender territory. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> which, but, which, which no, but, but that night, last yesterday, mm-hmm. I had said to my mom, "I remember going to these wrestling shows with my dad. He worked security, mm-hmm. but he would always leave me." 
Now I look back on it. I'm like, that's really fucked up. <laughs> but, but apparently, what was he doing? But it sounded, but it sounded like he left you in like the front row of the event. Oh, I always had ringside seats when yeah. I was younger. Always. It's okay. You're the warrior's property now. <laughs> Jen, how have we known you for so long and didn't know this yeah. about you? Yeah, this is amazing. Like this his is... first his first wife, she gave me candy. Okay. We're talking about Warrior's yeah, yeah, yeah. we're, we're talking about Warrior's first wife. Oh, first wife. oh okay. <laughs> yeah, I was I was trying to figure that one out. He did have, he did have a first wife though. Uh, but um Sensational Sherry. <laughs> Oh my god, sensational Sherry could be my mom. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I got in trouble. One one event, I called her a slut. Oh, and I got into so much trouble over it. Everybody else was doing it. Why not? I guess it would be better than Luna Vachon. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but that that night uh, I met Jimmy Hart. Uh Me and Rizzo didn't get to do that. Honky Tonk Man was an utter complete dick to a little kid. Pretty much Honky Tonk Man in a nutshell. He was a jerk. Uh, we did end up taking Jimmy Hart to the fabulous Erie International Airport. Can you take me to the airport, baby? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Uh, um, also, I want to point out, you, I know you, you sent me a few pictures here over on DM. Check out this. Yes. I, I don't know. You guys probably can't see it straight up in the in the hangout, but I got this picture up here for the uh, for our video people. Um, this is your shot of Bray Wyatt from our section across the arena over in 118 when he was sitting on the stage. That is incredible. That's a hell of a lens you got there. But uh, and, and I got. And he's I, just he, nodding for the okay. listeners. Everybody's just nodding. Nod. Everybody's nodding. It's okay. Um, now we've reached the silent part of the. But podcast. the craziest thing, <laughs> and I saw this thing popping up. Here is Macho Man. Here is the Macho Man holding a giant kitty head. Can we close caption this podcast? <laughs> no, we can't. That's not how that works. Bobby, it's not how that works. We we'll just um, add a, an optional narration track to it. Yeah. <laughs> By Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> all right jen is there anything else you want to touch on before i let you go here um just how mad my dad got at the end oh yeah i thought he was gonna leave without us after rusev won he got <laughs> pissed he's like if i, I was it. sitting ringside i would jump that barrier and he the shit out of he him. gets up like, i didn't even you're 71 years old settle down <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even see him like I like we're we're watching the stuff and he's and we're stuff celebrating and and then I looked over and I'm like where'd your dad go? I was like oh he's pissed. I mean, like he's like at the end of the row ready to leave. I'm like what what what? Um yeah that was, we had to beat the traffic sorg. Had to beat the traffic yeah. It was <laughs> we were like the only car in the parking lot when we walked out. Um, yeah. Thank you handicap placard. So hey. <laughs> it's handy. All right. So uh, yeah. it's handy able. It was a fun trip. It was interesting to see how another city does WWE rise. First for me to go check out uh, anything other than pay-per-view in our city. Uh, so uh, first of hopefully many trips here. I know we got a few planned in the future and Bobby's cat is on his bed. Kitty. Sorry. It distracted me on the corner of my eye. <laughs> Where's my cat? So on that note, Kitty. thanks. Thanks, Jen, for joining You're us today, and thanks for... Sorg and Jen, we're in Buffalo! Here's exactly. my swag again. She's swag. on my shoulder like a parrot. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so with that, I want to take a, note, a moment to thank our... And we'll come back for a moment. We have some people that want to talk about WWE 2K15. What year is it? 15? Uh, yep. On uh, Xbox 360, I think they both have it on. Uh, so if you guys can queue yourselves up, and we'll uh, start talking about that. Uh, Bobby, can you duck out for a moment for this next segment, please? And, oh, I was uh, going to suggest that I narrate the next, the first no, part of that. No, no, you're definitely not doing that. <laughs> Why? Or certainly, Sorry. certainly. What's, As what's I up? Sat contemplating the what's beginning up, of the show. 
So before we get into this next segment, uh, shouldn't we make mention of a certain sponsor? That's what I was about to do. I was leaving a tease and having some direction before I oh, tell I you about Slice on Broadway. You can check out SliceOnBroadway.com. They're down here, down the line in uh, Beachview in Pittsburgh, PA, in the South Hills. Uh, they uh, give us some uh, pizza to help our guests that are here throughout the night here on podcast night because we are here from four o'clock in the afternoon all the way through midnight when we're done with the indie mayhem show and uh and then and they help support some good local podcasts and we like supporting some good local pizza and we like eating some good local pizza too so go to slice on broadway.com they're on facebook they're on google plus no they're not on google plus they're in the instagram are on Facebook, and they're on the Twitters. So go hit them up. Let them know you heard about them on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Also check out their second location out in Carnegie, PA, uh, down there on Main Street as well. Good gourmet pizza. I recommend the Gonzo. They can do it as pizza. I know it's just listed as a sub. They don't tell you that, but they'll do it. They'll, they'll, they actually will turn any sub into a pizza. So go check that yeah, out. Yeah, figure that out. Figure that one out. So on that note, like I said... uh. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, Xbox 360, uh, PlayStation 3 this week had the release for WWE 2K15, and uh, it seems to not be going terribly smoothly uh, so far. Uh, so we have on the line, uh, of course, at the E Riz joins us from InsertCoinToBegin.com. And also with us is Hot Wheels at Hot Wheels RWA, of course, of RWALive.com. Help with the website and sound over there for the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. So you guys got the game. Riz, Riz I want to start with you because you wrote an article. Uh, and we'll, and, and Wheels, please chime in as, as, as you will. Um, you wrote an article, a review of InsertCoinToBegin.com that also doubles as a review and a Riz rant. Can you tell me why? <laughs> to tell you why i mean oh, i mean tell, tell me why tell me <laughs> i mean why why did you write that article riz why did you write, write that, that article, article? because what possessed i possessed you to do know. this um but no i i did write that article i bought it off of a whim i just went and got the got the game oh, well, you, you paid the full on 59.99 on 60 bucks for this oh game. my i feel ripped off oh and I, I know I and I wrote it in the article. I know that they're trying to get the new system. They're trying to get people to go to the new system. They're trying to get people to go to the Xbox One and to the uh, PlayStation Four. But there are people out there who have played games that are on both the new and the previous console wars, and their games have not lost anything. There, there have been games of, uh, let's see, is Assassin's Creed Black Flag, same exact game. Uh, Call of Duty, same exact game. Uh, Man Mike said uh, Lego Batman 3, same exact game. Uh, but when I popped in my WWE 2K15, I expected nothing else. I, I expected that there weren't going to be some things in there. Uh, like I, I, I kind of figured that the graphics weren't going to be all that great because they did uh, delay the game. I think it's coming out. Did it come out today for the other systems, or did it go, does it come out next week? I think it's, it's supposed to be like the 18th, I think. Uh, okay, oh, so wow. it's two weeks. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, but it's just they. In order for me to buy a system, the new systems and get WWE 2K15. They needed to wow me with this game. Mm -hmm. This was my demo. My $60 demo. Yeah. And I got nothing, nothing that they offered. I got no new graphics. I got no new controls. I got the same thing I got in WWE 2K14, just like we also said last week on the show. Yeah. Uh, the only good part about this was uh, the – and even that was kind of lackluster, the NXT mode. It, it was just four random matches by the – by uh, who was it? Rusev, uh, Zayn. Uh, Corey Graves. Corey Graves from the show. Adrian and, Neville. Adrian Neville and Bo Dallas and Big E. 
all all those guys have like four matches, and that's it. Yeah. And it unlocks another mode. I haven't gotten there yet because I have no patience for that. Right? <laughs> I have no patience in playing that game all that time just to get to the point where Bo Dallas beats John Cena. Sorry, Lunchbox. Box. Uh, but it's okay. Uh-oh. See what you did, Riz? It's not true. 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 Get on the boat train. It's not true. I do believe, train. I do believe in ghosts. I do believe. I do believe. I do believe in ghosts. See, wow. Riz? Wow. Wow. Riz, 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 you shouldn't have told him this. Riz above hate. Riz above hate. Riz above hate. Riz above hate. Sorg, I've, I, I'm not Sorg. Uh, Riz, I have a question for you and also for you, Wheels. Okay. Uh, because my, I'm sorry. Are you still? No, no, no. Um, my favorite part of these games uh, has always been uh, the character creation modes. That's how, how, how is it? I did you play 2K14? No. Oh. I, I was going to say I, I was going to say that too, Riz. I agree. If you played 2K14, even 13, honestly, I uh, think it stopped at 13. Yeah, yeah. It's, 13. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it's basically there's, the same thing. And... There's no real point in making it Yeah, because you can't do much with it. See, that, that really bothers me. In the older games, you could make you could make um, and here's a creative character and like put them through storyline mode and do all this crazy thing. stuff. It's in the game, but it's only on Xbox, it's only on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, so this is my why problem. Would you do that in a video this, game? this is my problem because a lot of reviews I've noticed, like, okay, you guys, uh, both of you, do do both of you have two K fourteen? Yes. Yeah. I do, do you feel like across the board, you? I believe that the number is true. You have less wrestlers, and do less you feel wrestlers. like you have less features? Like, do you have less of a game than you they, did a yes. year ago? R- Riz, I'll, uh, I I agree with you. Uh, Sorg, I was just last night. I decided. All right, I grabbed. Uh, my Xbox Gold again, so I could get some downloaded creations from other people that had the game. Yeah. And Riz, I don't know if you looked at this, but you only have ten slots to download people now. Why would you? Why what? would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. Only ten slots to download people, and then that's it. And here, here's my other problem. Going back to your your question, uh, uh Sorg, uh. There's only two, like, the best part of 2K14 and 2K13 were the, uh, you know, the Attitude Era and the uh, 30 Years of WrestleMania. Those two, the, the, the flashbacks, and they have that in the rivalry feuds. But here's the thing. There's uh, John Cena and CM Punk. Mm-hmm. And there's Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Yeah, I will go on, but they don't let me because that's the only two that they have. It's yeah, that's, that's their only two showcases that only two. Consider. Right? That's it. that angers me, even though that's the best part. Mm-hmm. Like going back to the uh, the Shawn Michaels Triple H feud, that that was awesome. Like, what I like that. Uh, I posted yeah. one of the pictures in the. And so, according to begin my uh, little rant, but other than that, I have no interest in playing this game on my current console. And when or if I get a new console, I am in doubt that I will pick this game up. Yeah, I mean, that, that I might wait two years, at, or just wait to find wait, out if yeah. whatever other people think yeah. what it is on like the next few years, because honestly. Riz, I, you probably have noticed it. I mean, okay. For the audio listeners, I'm showing the game. The, the nice little case for it. Mm-hmm. The coolest thing about it is it has raised uh, graphics on the case. Oh, yeah. And that's I never pretty that. cool. But, okay, Riz, do you notice something on this cover that you don't see much in any of the arenas or... Uh, uh, on the turnbuckles or anything like that. Wait, I don't see the new no logo. Way. Yeah, no they, they, way. The attitude 
They use the old logo for that. Okay, one. okay. I, I you know, to be okay. fair, to be fair, the lead time on this I feel like considering they just moved everything over in yeah, August. No, 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 Stark. No, no, no. That excuse was valid last year. Okay. Last year was when 2K Sports took over this and they, you know, had to finish whatever uh well, I think it's, I think... you had. They've had a year to make a good video game. Mm. I also, and I think, no, 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 but, but, but I think, like, like you know, just like the roster, like Bo Dallas is, is still in NXT mode. How long has it been since he's been in NXT? This is always a problem, and I think that's your kind of like cutoff point. That's why the rosters are never like, hey, it's uh, November, and the roster doesn't match November. You know, uh-huh. that's always a problem with these games. Uh, yeah, but they, I mean, they work. That's their advantage because they put out the current roster in DLC and make more money that way. True. Right. True. Yeah, but, but how long is going to buy a DLC logo. for this game? What's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I over, uh, I'm sorry, what's that, Riz? I'm not going to buy a DLC for this game. No, because yeah, you aren't happy shit. with the game to it's begin with. Because it doesn't feel like you got enough of a game. And and, and that's, oh, definitely, yeah. that's definitely shoddy. And, and does anybody play 2K games other than WWE? Uh, 2K, the, the uh, NBA 2K... 14 or 15 uh, was actually free on Steam this past weekend, and I missed it. Oh, no. Actually a little upset, because sometimes I like to play sports games and remind myself why I don't like sports games. Oh, yeah, then I go back I and play NFL Blitz, games, and it's they better. Me so self-conscious of myself to thinking I can do it. But this game, back to wrestling, uh, don't pick it up yet. No. Yeah. No. I totally agree. Don't. Or at all. Yeah, Riz and I will. Riz, you and I have to go online together and just beat each other up with these so-called. No, I'm newer... not even gonna try to load this game up anymore. It's too bad he can't <laughs> return I, it. I could. You could. I, w- I I would get like. I think I saw on uh online it was like twenty dollars. What? Oh, Jesus. that's so bad. Guess where I checked it out? Sort of. Stop! But yeah, don't do that. that. Nobody likes. Don't do that. Stop. <laughs> check on uh, check on eBay. Maybe you can um, sell it on there for a little discount. Not, not after everybody found out what it's like. Um, that's a shame. That's a shame. <laughs> now, now, sell it. Sell it as what, you read. What, what's that name, uh, Aaron? Uh, you got. You said. Earlier, I think you were talking on a awesome cash. You were talking about glitches or something you were reading about. I didn't see any that I've noticed playing it, but before I got the game, I saw like a live cast on Twitch or something, and they were doing online play. And the guy picked up the ring bell, and it wasn't in his hand, it was like on his wrist and sticking out like it was a morphing type thing. And it was just like, wow, that is a really bad glitch. I I, I don't. Uh, if you're going to talk about glitches online, they happen. I I'm not yeah. I'm not impressed by that. Did, but if I it's just a on, like, oh, if it's just like here's an entrance in uh, when the review I was listening to is like I had like I saw like five glitches when in my first match booting this up. Mm-hmm. I was like, mm, that's that's not right. That's not right. Especially on a game, but like it's not a new engine. Like, what did you guys do? Like, mm-hmm. like they're, they're, it's not a new engine, right, guys? Like, it, it plays. Yeah. It, it doesn't play just like last the year's. Same game plays last year. Yeah, I mean, uh, and, and, and two K is bad with glitches as it is. Their ba- their basketball games are the same way. Very right. glitchy. Okay. Yeah, I haven't well, run into any normal gameplay glitches, like just normal. But I don't know. What about you, Riz? I I haven't personally, but um, we when I posted this on the Facebook page of. Uh, I think it was a few, maybe a few days ago. Uh, I believe Ricky, Rick Haynes, or Haynes is that his name? Hensy, I believe it is. Hensy. Hensy. Uh, he, 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 he posted that he had a glitch where Bo Dallas just shot up into the air. And <laughs> I, I think that's what it was. He was facing. Uh, is that when he was like me. floating like over? Like Yeah. He was floating over everything, but I do have a point for that one. He is Bo Dallas. <laughs> I was going to say, he can he fly. Fly. He can therefore move. accurate. Accurate. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm so, I'm not even angry anymore. 
I'm not I'm disappointed, I'm, honestly. I'm not, yeah, I agree, Chris. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed that I was I, I'm so glad excited. I didn't pre-order it. I'm glad I didn't pre-order it because I think I would have been more upset. So, the thing is, I was so excited to play this game because mm-hmm. of Dave's involvement in this game. And and like I said in the article, I have so many games that are 2K related. Borderlands is loading up on my screen. I have 2K15. I have a lot of other games on there that I cannot mention because I forget what they are because there are so many of them. I just I just have one of those things where I'm like, this 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 is a good game. It's not. Mm-hmm. No, I mean I I think the gameplay is a little bit smoother than last year's, but not enough for the price of this game. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't catch the uh, the smoothness. I just catch the. It, just, it, it, it was the same thing as 2K14, with less people in it. Yeah. With less things mentioned, but more things promised. Oh, I don't. Well, you haven't probably created anybody yet, Riz. But that's the other thing that I've read that you cannot, when you create a person, interject your outside music now. Oh, nope. well, you, can, you could have barely did that anyway. That's so. and that's yeah, that's that's la- that's lazy on two K. That really is. I I feel like they probably put the C team on this one because it is last gen. We we get this all the time. We we when we upgraded to you know from PlayStation twos and Xboxes to three sixties and twos. I'm sorry, to, uh uh three sixties and PS threes. You got the you know, bastardized version of whatever game. We've been very, very fortunate, and we're getting into video game territory, I know. Yeah. We've been very, very fortunate to have our Call of Duties, to have our Assassin's Creed's, like you mentioned, um, that are actually, like, I, I, I think on those, they're building them on this platform, and then they're upgrading it for the new ones, as opposed to downgrading it. Uh, you saw the same thing when we talked about old Raw versus SmackDowns, where they had a Wii version. That was definitely like last year's hardware, right? Um, and they were like kind of laughable. And they're like, oh, you can do motions. And it didn't work very well, it sounds like. You know, um, this happens. Uh, unfortunately, and it's the first growing pains of, hey, it's a new generation. But unfortunately, it's WWE has the most vocal fan base that's going to be like, no, this isn't right. Um, yeah, I and, really hope they well, well, you know, here's the thing. Uh, most fans are probably when they, when they buy the new system. Most fans are going to pick up the WWE 2K15, and that's what they're relying on. They're relying on that hardcore yeah. fan that doesn't yeah. care. That yeah. doesn't care that this game is crap because they think that that game's going to be a maze balls because they spent a lot more time on that one. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, they gave us hope. They gave us hope. They made a really good, really addictive game, and it's right here on my iPad. <laughs> 2K Games. And this, this from all reports, is way better than it 2K15. It is. It is. Yeah, and it's, it's so... Yeah, I was going to say, it is so good that that's one of the little advertisements they put inside the game. Mm-hmm. Uh it's Cartridge. a vicious cycle because when you when you load up 2K15, it advertises, or the super card, it advertises 2K15, and then yeah. which then advertises a super card, and I don't know what to do. Play <laughs> super card. Oh, Go this, oh buy buy some more card. super well, card actually. Going back uh, to your point about the uh, video games switching from next gen to new gen, or the new gen to from old gen to new gen, uh, GTA 5. I believe you mentioned this on. Uh, Boss battle, by the way, uh, eight o'clock on live.sorgtrymedia.com. Uh, <laughs> there's on, on the new systems, they have the same game, correct? Mm-hmm. But they're turning into a first-person shooter. But it's the same game with mostly the same graphics, maybe a little sharper. But it's the same game. And they're adding features, and they're doing extra stuff that maybe they didn't have enough horsepower to do. You know, they're 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 adding on, but, and they're adding on. That that's fine. That's fine. You know. But what they're are they going to just add on? But they they're not. <laughs> but they're, but the, it'd be like if they like we had GTA Five, and they gave us a GTA Five point five on the consoles 
took away half of the features and gave them all to the new console. Like that's what's happening here with the yeah, WWE this, games. This, this, that's, that is this. I mean, any of these, like any sports game, WWE games are like the sports games where it's builds on, builds on, builds on. They're not rebuilding every year. There's sometimes when they do every so many years. Like I think when they uh, first jumped into the Raw versus SmackDown, that was some rebuilding years. Like they were starting from scratch with a new engine, new graphics uh, that looked a bit better than it did before. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that, that, and they did well. Those were really good games. They were very good games. We saw a build and we saw a progression. They got better and they added like, oh, tag teams is a focus this year. This is okay. a focus this year. I got a little worried. I started to get a little worried when they said, we're going to have an attitude era, era uh, you know, mode. <laughs> it's like they got into that and that they content. The they, they got into the nostalgia and they forgot about adding features to the game and making it better. Mm-hmm. And I think that was the first, and I, and I wonder how different this team is than the one over at uh, over at uh, THQ. Did they just bring the game over? Or did they bring the team over too? I'm curious. I, I don't know. Um, I, don't I know, know they brought two guys that were have been with them for a while. Uh, some Brian guy and somebody else. But I think we should have. Real, I should have really worried when they're hyping this game. I noticed like last year when they did 2K. 14 they hyped it like crazy and they had the the ring and the announcement of the card and everything but this year it was just like a lower keyed okay here's an announcement here's staying and roman reigns and Rey mysterio everybody on a stage Mm -hmm. i mean okay it was almost like rick flair's little craziness last year but (laughs) they they didn't announce a lot of features they said oh here's Sting, you can get for pre-order. Yeah, they're Here's putting over Sting. Edition. They're putting over Sting. And, man. Not much else, right? Yeah, and they did not. They were not hyping like crazy like last year when they said, "Hey, this is what you're going to you know get what? with this game." Here's I want to thing. point out. Okay, when, go ahead, Riz, and then I got something for you. When you cut your roster in half, yeah, and then cut that roster in half, there's nothing to talk about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like. And and you can't talk about the graphics for an hour. Yeah, and, and you know what? The good, thing, the good thing with THQ was they built on that roster, uh, and yeah. they just yeah. kept on going with that. Um, yeah. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean it. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I just wanted to get him because this really kind of goes along with your point. I'm looking at their. I I just went to the 2K's website and the site for WWE, and you can still, for whatever reason, I guess it's just because it's the two they have. You have the roster for 2K15, right? Like, unless you see both of them, it's like, why would they let me see this horrible, horrible thing? Here's a roster. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's, that's, that's where it goes. Okay. Oh, there's Sting. Okay. Um, and then you drop to 2K14. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this includes DLC or something, but here we go. There's a lot more going on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It feels mm-hmm. like a lot more going on here. Um, I, you know, I think it does include, now I think of that, it probably does include DLC because it's got Virgil in here. Yeah. But still, it, it's a bigger game. Yeah. It, I mean, it just it feels bigger, and they really kind of like pulled it off. But uh, on that point, do not get two K fifteen. Wheels and and wheels and wrists here are the canary in the coal mine, and they are dying in the cage uh, for yep. this one. They wasted their sixty bucks. I feel bad for them. Uh, join, follow our Patreon, so maybe we can pay them back for that horrible, horrible mistake that they made. Uh, <laughs> Pull us out of this. 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 Cave, please, because we're dying. My God. Sword knocked us in this cave. Wow. Help us. On that note, uh, so uh, guys, uh, thanks for getting out there and 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 letting us know what's going on with that. Uh, check out Riz's review and, and everything else over at insertcointobegin.com. And like I said, check out uh, the thing that Wheels is involved with Renegade Wrestling Alliance. They got a big show this weekend. Salute the troops too going on out there at uh, California University, California of PA, south of Pittsburgh. Uh, Shane Helms, the Hurricane Shane Helms is going to be there. Shane Douglas, Sanjay Dutt, uh, Jesse Bell Smothers, uh, and of course all the all the awesome guys over at Renegade Wrestling Alliance. It's going to be a fun show. It was fun when we did this back in back in the spring, and I'm looking forward to see how this show goes. And of course, Sorgatron Media will be there. Sorgatron Media doing a lot of other things. Uh, hey, if you have a trouble spelling... Sorgatron Media. You can now go to Pro, uh, yeah, Pro Rest. I'm sorry, PittsburghWrestling.com. I can't say it. 
Go to PittsburghWrestling.com. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got stuff like the missing matches uh, with AJ Styles. We got the Montreal Theory, refereeing 101 with uh, Jimmy Cardeas, finding Zach Gowan, documentaries and specials that we've done here with Sorgatron Media, as well as uh, great stuff, RWA, like we just talked about, uh, digital downloads. If you go back to 2011, 2010, we've lowered all the digital downloads to 4.99. Uh, so go, you can use 4.99. Uh, 4, 4.99. How much is that LB? Four ninety nine. How much is that? The Riz. Four ninety nine. Oh, there's this is my everybody now. Four ninety nine. I'm trying it. I, this feels good. I see why they do this every episode on Raw now. Um, three. And I only have three of you guys to do it. Um, but no, go check it out. Uh, PittsburghWrestling.com. We'll get you right to the Sorgatron Media Store. We can check all that stuff. Vicious Outcast Wrestling. A little bit of Prime Wrestling. Uh, Prime Cuts. Some of the classic stuff from there. Uh, and of course, international international wrestling cartel, including this last show, which is going to show a little preview here for you guys on video. Retro Reunion 200 has some awesome, awesome times uh, that we talked about recently on the Indie Mayhem show, including uh, TNA's DJ Z, Zima Ion, Shima Zion, whatever her na- his name is these days. <laughs> You can go check that out. Uh, RJ City versus Andrew Palace. All friends of the show. All, all been on the Mayhem show. Well, like all those, all those guys. Well, except for well, well, she she has been here in the studio. But um, technically, you know, <laughs> doing baby story. Batista. That video's out there somewhere. We need to find that. Uh, so on that note, guys, uh, check that out. A little bit of extra stuff, and we'll be right back with Remember One. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We had a little bit of an intervention. Everybody was sad after that review. Uh, they want to love the video games, but the they want to love the video games. But unfortunately, it didn't work out. So let's bring it up with this episode of Remember When. <laughs> remember when <laughs> thank you lb thank you for that rousing rousing was that arousing arousing i don't know yeah uh so okay so we had well, it's been a bad year for video games for WWE, and I, and I feel like we've had a few of them lately bad stretch. Uh, a little bad stretch but you know video games used to be awesome with the professional wrestling we've had some high points here we got some uh, uh, people jumping in here. Of course, the guys from the last time we had Mad Mike's up, hopped in here. Bobby F. J. Town's back in the house. Um, but still in J. Town. Just want to cl- clarify. Uh, so so let's go around. And what were what was your favorite year for, not year, but which video game? Of course, there were several that came out certain years. Um, but what, what? I have an answer. Oh, yeah. LB's got an answer. He's going to bring this up. I had I had the most fun uh, uh, in college uh, playing wrestling video games. Um, it was it was here comes the pain, uh, and um, we would you could do all kinds of crazy stuff. You could make your own titles and you could make like really crazy creatures. So we made oddly really accurate versions of ourselves um and then we would make what we were calling the monsters and there was a monster title that you fought for and there was like um uh there was a, a watermelon creature and all, all like 
big giant facial feature purple lady and and it was bonkers and and you could have them fight anybody at any time and they would like the other creator wrestlers would run in and you'd be like fighting a monster and this tiny little creature would run in and kick your ass and it was just <laughs> i it, it, it i i realized that a lot of it owes uh to the time and the place and the people i was playing with and so on and so forth but i have never had more fun than i did playing here comes the pain with my friends in college definitely one of the highlights definitely yes. one of the highlights uh That's as far as the, the smackdown series of games awesome mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. what about you wheels let's 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 therapy oh. our guys that we just uh put through the ringer the last segment yeah i i think i'm a little bit better because i thought of one of the most fun times and it was the previous company that did wwe games and that was thq and mm-hmm. i have to say no mercy oh yes no mercy was so much fun god um, damn it i am so sorry mike i love you and everything it's fine i have a back i i had I so much fun is- with that and it was just like what lb said the creations you could make in the games and the finishers that's where it all started with the finishers you could do you could make your own like wcw characters in a wwe game and it was fun and even wrestlers looked looked like wrestlers even though a little bit blocky but still more 3d-ish instead of like the old older 2d games but that's what was one of the features I remember, and I loved it awesome. so much. I played it to death. I played that game till the cartridge died. <laughs> I get into mine, but I, it's kind of related to that. But uh, but I actually, No Mercy is one of them that I snagged uh, more recently at the exchange, and I played a good bit of it for the extra life uh, a couple weeks ago. And I don't uh, know. that game's still stuck, awesome. Getting stuck with Stephanie McMahon in the forty man you know, uh, Royal rumble and <laughs> ending up body slamming Andre, the giant man. And also every, every diva has heels in that game, except for Alita, and, of and skirts and, and skirts. skirts. It's just, it's impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Riz. We, we've talked about this game many times before on the show, but WCW NWO Revenge Tour. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Wait, wait. Revenge or World Tour? Are you talking? Revenge. Revenge. Yes. That that's the one with the extended roster. Am I am I blanking? Yeah, that's my that's the fake. The fake. That's, the fake. Uh, the fake extra like like Frank Stein and uh, Aki Man. Aki Man, yeah, Aki Man and THQ Man and everything else. It, it it was one of the most. It was from for its time and for for an X, N64 game at that time. It was a big ass roster. Mm-hmm. That and the trailer for it with tr- uh, Sting driving it? a truck. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that yes. was just great. Uh, I could. I keep on thinking it, that, that that is that is the Macho Man driving that truck. Yeah, it is. Uh, we we had discussion on Extra Life. I, I played. I, it was another one I pulled out. My nephew was uh, visiting, and we, we were. And you're like, it's Macho Man. I'm like, I'm Macho Man. He's like, hey, Macho, Macho Man. I palette swapped. I palette swapped Macho, Macho Man out of NWO a long time ago, and uh, it, definitely not Macho Man. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, let's see. I actually don't have another guy prepared. Mad Mike. I think you, you probably have one. All right, I'm going to have to go in my backup. And, um, Sorg, I'm going to say six magical words and change my life forever. Um, oh, I think I know where no. this is going. Don't. Brock Lesnar has the twisty rocket. Oh, no. Yes. Not a traditional wrestling game as such, but WWE Crush Hour was one of my favorite games on the GameCube. And I played it way, 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 way too much. Um, every every character had their own specialized car. Um, it, it was just so much fun, and probably the best. I will say this: the best commentary in a WWE wrestling game. I, I will say that. I, and plus, you, it showed us the WWE Network yep, for exactly. the first time. Exactly. I'm still waiting for that King cooking show. Though. How many it's days? Coming. How how often do you think WWE Network's Twitter account gets tweeted uh, about asking when Crush Hour is going to happen? 
You know what? I should tweet. It it has to happen now. Everybody, everybody, a mayhem show at WWE Network. Ask them when WWE Crush Hour is happening as predicted in the video game. As we already uh, have the network. Superstar Bars 2, asking for a friend. (laughs) 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 Phil is not a friend. None of us have friends named Phil. Mm. No, no I, that was for me. That's for sure. Because I'm hungry. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, Mike's Mike's talked about this Crush Hour game so much that I went on Amazon and found it for like under five bucks. I think I found it oh, for. Sore, get it? No, I have it. Oh, good. No, I actually okay. went and bought it a couple years ago because you kept talking. I'm like, I gotta experience this. Because I'm telling you, if you combine Slam City with Crush Hour, oh my yes. god, you can make WWE Wacky Racers. And Jen can uh, can attest. I was very excited because I, I actually didn't get a chance. We got distracted by the time we got in there, uh, but they had a Slam City kind of set up, and I wanted to go check it out. I didn't get a chance. Um, Bobby, mine would be. I'm gonna go way back. Uh oh. WWF Royal, Royal Rumble for Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Nice. Sega Genesis was better. I had blisters on my fingers from playing it. Uh, ru- like just patent button mashing, trying t- trying to grapple, uh, and do suplex and just amazing game back in the day. Um, the the roster was like impressive: Bret Hart, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon, Randy Savage, Crush, Lex Luger, uh, Hulk Hogan, IRS, Jim Duggan, The Model, so many. It had Ric Flair. Woo! Like for for back in the day, that that was an amazing game. So. Hey, um, and I'm curious, like, like, like Riz, you're saying, like, oh, uh, Genesis version was better, or like, was there actually any difference between those games across? I, I honestly don't know. You're, you're, you're. I oh, I, oh, I see. I Somebody's still a fanboy. Yeah, they're, they're that more thinks more. that 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 the Genesis is still alive for him. I think Genesis had one additional exclusive wrestler. Really? I don't think. Was, I think was Super it was more. No, Luna Vachon was in because I had the SNES version. You know what? Wiki this one. We're gonna wiki the hell out of us. Okay, you're gonna wiki. I, I got it up of... on the Wikipedia here. It says the SNES version was released before the Genesis version, mm-hmm. replacing some of the playable characters. Two versions share seven wrestlers. Uh, the five remaining members of the roster differ between two versions. The SNES version features Ric Flair, Mr. Perfect. Uh, Ted DiBiase, Yokozuna, and Tatanka. The Genesis version replaces them with Hulk Hogan, IRS, Jim Duggan, and the model and Papa Shango. So that's, uh, I think that's a timing thing. I think it's like the roster yeah. thing we're talking about. By the time they came out, it's like, well, we got Hogan now. Hey, we don't mm-hmm. have Flair. So, or, or mm-hmm. whatever the case might have been. So, interesting. I didn't know there was that difference between the two versions. Mm-hmm. That's, I, I, was, I wasn't aware of that. Because I, I thought like most, but that was like the first time they brought one over, I think. Like, I don't know if, like Super WrestleMania wasn't on Genesis because it was super WrestleMania, you know. So, anyways, um, am I left? I, yeah, it's just me left, isn't it? Um, you know, I, I have one that's not like it's definitely not the best game. <laughs> I think I know where you're going. I'm curious now. Uh, I want, uh, but I re- uh, and, and I don't even remember uh, many good memories of me playing this game. But it was the first time I watched my friends, much like you all be like, you guys like created all the wrestlers and everything. But to watch my friends go create the wrestlers because I didn't have the PlayStation. I didn't have this game. Um, and I'm talking about Warzone. <laughs> oh. Game is freaking horrible. Don't get me wrong. If you try to go back you're, you're and play, about for the PS One, right? I'm talking yep. about for the PlayStation One. Oh, WWF. My mother. Wars. My mother was obsessed with that game. You're she was... gonna make me want to play this game, Sword. No, you don't want to. <laughs> wow, wait, it's wait, that wait. bad. You made him want to play that. Wow. Sword. Okay, how about how about ECW Anarchy Rolls? Yeah, no, it's the same game. <laughs> it is the Stop same it, game. How about Attitude. For the, okay, for those who don't remember, so there's WWE Warzone, WWF Warzone, and they did have like a, a N64 version. Um, I feel like they had like, a Game Boy version. They, they had a Game Boy. Yeah, well, the Game Boy versions were always horrible. Horrible yeah. games. Yeah, the Game Boy King of the Ring space. Say that to King of the Ring space. What's that? Can't say that to King of the Ring space. It had Yokozuna. Mm. <laughs> Crudely yeah. animated Yokozuna. I did really want to play King of the Ring for the Game Boy. Um, WF Warzone was, I think, the first 3D one. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
and had a little bit of video digitized graphics as well as they did you know for the playstation one but it also i think is the first one that had create a wrestler and mm-hmm. that's where mm-hmm. like the, jo- the jobber uh for wwf maybe the like, jobber sounds Didn't oh, fire pro have it yeah fire, well, okay, yeah, fire, fire pro. pro you can make first it wwf yeah. first wwf um and, and me and pay me very very polygon very very polygonal uh, that's for sure. Uh, but but it was the one where I fought my friends who were very meticulous with things like this, uh, like made all of us, you know, made all of their <laughs> friends that were in the band, you know, and, and, and made all their friends. And, and like we were represented in the game like that was first. We were represented in the game, you know, mm-hmm. um, kind of experience for us. And as much as that I did, cool, but it's a horrible game. So. Oh, it is a horrible game, but oh, it's, it's one of those bad. like. It was the best we had. It's just like, uh, you know, at, at some point, you know, playing, uh, you know, picking one of like six wrestlers and, and being Andre the Giant chasing a ham bone across the ring that you couldn't get out of uh, <laughs> was the best experience that we had. And this was kind of better than that. Uh, but but this this is the thing. This was like that first point when that happened, and that begot you know, like you know attitude. The ECW games all ran on the same engine. The claim went out of business. Okay, um, but but moving on to what we ended up getting later in uh, you know WCW Revenge and and, and so on. Um, remember WCW Revenge didn't really have a creator wrestler. You got Palette yeah. Swapper, but there's no creator wrestler. But then you get to No Mercy, SmackDown, Raw versus SmackDown, and what we have today. WrestleMania 2000. <laughs> WrestleMania 2000 is another mm-hmm. way. I think that's when I start to pick up. The the engine, like the uh, controls change too. Because I remember mm-hmm. the Warzone and Attitude games, weren't they like button controls? Like it, like you had to, like it was like a Mortal Kombat type of thing. Because I, I don't know why. I still have a vivid memory of having to hit left down right a to do a sweet chin music yeah i think the you're finishers right in that, the, yeah finishers in, in that game were difficult as all hell yeah before. sorg uh, i actually challenged uh, chachi at chachi plays um to play Warzone this yeah. year and uh guess what doesn't hold up <laughs> that's for sure that's for sure no no i got i got a, i picked up a copy myself uh to, to be like because i mean I, I went to a wrestling game collecting mode i picked up that i picked up uh uh you know a bunch of the n64 ones including no mercy of course um and that just does not you know what i really want to play smackdown like playstation mm-hmm. Smackdown, because that yep. was also Smackdown two. That was the point. Was good. But, it, but I mean, Smackdown was the first one where it was like, like it was more arcadey, it was more actiony mm-hmm. than the slow plodding Warzone and Attitude games, right? Um, was, unfortunately, was Smackdown- I have a case for Smackdown. No idea where the disc is. So. <laughs> like most of my games, was was Smackdown? Was that the one where you can like maneuver around the backstage area? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like there's a lot yeah, of backstage. Yeah. There was there was a few that did that. I love that. That was a great feature. Was, yeah. I, I want that to be back. <laughs> yeah, like remember, leave the arena, the ring, go up the ramp, like throw them into the entryway, and you go into the backstage area. Oh, no, I'm what I'd love to have back. I'm not, Parking lot brawls, or you can climb on that fist. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. You, uh, you guys way, remember in Day of Reckoning where you had to throw a whole bunch of um, uh, security guys off of off an elevator? Uh, uh, <laughs> game so, yeah. wrestling no, games. That, that was a, because I didn't have um, a Sony system until way past the PS2's prime. Um, so I had the GameCube games. Oh and, God! Oh, oh man! Poor man! I've Game considered trying to collect up. those. But Day of Reckoning and Day of Reckoning 2 were really odd games. You had to commit a lot of murder. <laughs> a lot, a lot of murder. Okay, real quick, guys. I thanks a lot. If you guys have any thought, any video too. game throwbacks or anything like that, please hit us up at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. Uh, so, uh, and hashtag it remember one. And hit us up on the Facebook as well. Uh, so, real quick. Sorry, sorry. What? 
can I can I please give an honorable mention to a to a game? I guess um, so. We're running it's, late. It's terrible. Okay. It's I, I'll be quick. It's it's a terrible game. It's two terrible games. I just want to bring it up because the roster was amazing, and it was the backyard wrestling video games. Oh yes, <laughs> and just a, a horrible horrible game. But it had it had amazing rosters. Like uh, the between the first and second one, there's like Josh Prohibition and M Dog Twenty, but Sabu was in there as well. Uh, <laughs> same with the Sandman, Sanjay. Dunn was in there for some reason the insane clown Vampiro, posse insane clown posse uh vampiro <laughs> new jack and uh, of all people the godfather was in there <laughs> yeah he was known as the bone doctor at the time oh wow Ooh, i'm sorry i'm sorry the bone doctor <laughs> <laughs> comma the supreme punctuation mark. Right. Yeah. okay if you want to support the show support this craziness put it on your show put it on your back Oh, B was wearing it last night. Uh, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. Great designs by Alex Carr at Alex Carr Designs. Uh, helping us out there. Property of Mayhem. Good Times at Wrestling Mayhem Show.com. Logo. And so much else going on over ProWrestlingTees.com. They have Ring of... It is now the official place to buy original Ring of Honor t-shirts. Woo. <laughs> nobody nobody Ooh. wrong show wrong show apparently that sorry about time. that sorry about that but go go pro wrestling tees.com slash wms support the show so i want to touch on um i believe mike you said that you watch lucha underground as did i uh, i watched lucha underground sorg and i'm so excited about it, it it's it's kind of fun so so uh it, it this is a new new program started this past week on the outray network which is a Latino themed network. It's Robert Rodriguez's network. It's right. It, it is. Oh, so whenever I said this is like a Robert Rodriguez film, it is a Robert Rodriguez yeah. film. It is basically Rodriguez. like if From Dust to Dawn was set in indie fed instead of a strip club and without vampires. Yeah, they said. Well, actually, Vampiro was there. So yes, he was on commentary. Vampire. He looked. They said, they said he has creative control over every show that's on his network. Rodriguez? Yeah, I, I can see it. Yeah, I can, for sure. I can absolutely see it. But um, wow. it, 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 uh, it, I, I, I can it to uh, wrestling, wrestling society X on some of the production values, like how it's in, you know, a studio kind of set up. It's got a theme. There's this like kind of back backstage, uh, like it, it, it's a, it's a wrestling society X with better production ve- value and straight up a better theme. It's. With no AF, AFI doing com, uh, color commentary on this match? No AFI, no random bands coming in. It's Matt Stryker <laughs> and Vampiro. If you like Matt Stryker on commentary, you're already in. <laughs> right? uh, there, are thing, there are things I like about Matt Stryker on commentary, and then he Matt Strykers it sometimes. But <laughs> overall, it's fun. But generally, I like seeing him on He's commentary. He's your teacher. He is your teacher. No. Um, no, he's but, made him but a good a good lean a, a, a good lineup of of familiar faces chavo guerrero first up you know again i don't know the people are taken on uh john john uh morrison now is johnny mundo i believe johnny mundo, johnny mundo. uh but he's still he's still the same guy um Friend of, show, friend of show, <laughs> friend of show, uh, Matt Cross as Son of Havoc in the mask take, in an intergender match on TV, yeah, guys. Yeah, right there, like that was when I realized something different was happening with the show. Like we, all right, we talk about all the time, especially on the midweek war. Um, there needs to be something new. There needs to be something new in wrestling. Mm-hmm. I think this is it. It's, Lucha Libre style. We've all seen Lucha Libre. Um, there, it, there seems to be an intricate woven storyline here. Yeah, like yeah, that sure. that flows throughout the show. And I was intrigued from the moment they had the first backstage vignette. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and Conan is like a classy Freddy Blassie type. Yeah, he Anakin. he's completely a Latino, classy Freddie Blassie. Yeah, straight up with the train with the cane as well. And he brought in Puma, and Puma. If you if you've watched TNA, you know Puma's awesome. Mm-hmm. Puma is really good in the ring. Puma and John Morrison had a fantastic match. Puma man. Um, Puma but, man. Uh, and then like because they're all trying to like they didn't introduce a championship, which I thought was interesting. I thought that was very interesting. There was no title introduced. 
the first episode, they're all fighting for $100,000. And they're all just trying to impress the owner. Um, is it Diego Cuerto? Uh, I can get you a second here. Yeah, it's the Diero Cuerto. Yeah. yeah, Dario. Dario Cuerto. Um, but yeah, and it looked like it was going to go to the winner of the Morris and Puma match because Puma was Puma. the guy that Conan brought in. And Morrison was like the Hollywood rock star wannabe. And then they all suddenly got attacked by two random guys who looked like a bad version of LAX and I think Big Zeke. And I yeah. I was intrigued. Like I'm I'm waiting for the rest of it. I, I'm excited for it. And if they bring in Del Rio into this, who is a very good actor in WWE despite um you know not being given all that much, mm-hmm. uh Del Rio and Luke Underground excites me to no end. And if if and when TNA goes away, this will take TNA spot in the midweek war. I think it should be. I, I, I almost I consider it might. What night does it come on? Wednesdays. It's Wednesday night. So so it's competition for TNA. Um, no, I think uh, I think. Unfortunately, it, it's the same time as Arrow. So Arrow kind of. Uh, but ah. Um, how so is El Ray a, a like, do you have to buy a couple packages up to get El Ray? Do you know? No. Like, uh, I have Time Warner. So okay. I think it's only available on Time Warner and DirecTV. Okay, so this is fairly limited to begin with. Yeah. So yeah. Un- unfortunately, it is like an HD Net and Ring of Honor kind of deal. Mm-hmm. Right. It but from what like. I've heard, you can find it pretty easily online, and yeah, I highly, like, I highly recommend it. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, at least the first episode hooked me in. Really, really fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Really fun to watch. And I, I like that there's no barrier between the crowd and the ring it's interesting it's it's a different feel because they don't have to yeah well obviously but i mean they don't they look like a different product Mm -hmm. they look like a different product they sound like a different product and that's all we've ever wanted from tna yeah you're not going to mistake this for a wwe show and, mm. and it's hitting a different audience. Uh, it's hitting that Latino audience that WWE attempts to on, on a wide scale. When you know we get mad about them booking like Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara's and 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 Del Rio's all the time, you know, falls flat because they're like, well, we got this here because we want the Latinos, and and this is like, well, we are the Latinos, so come on over, you know. Um, I I or do wonder, it, it, is this something you see touring? I feel like this is going to be a TV product exclusively. I think it has to for the kind of product that it is. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You can completely just create a show, I think. Oh, absolutely. And plus, it helps that they do have a somewhat familiar cast of characters. Yes. It uh, helps. It, like, grant different names, but they don't change the looks at all. Like, like you see Johnny Mundo, and you obviously... Like, they even have hair blowing in John Morrison's entrance. Yeah. So, yeah. no, it's um, fine. They do have a YouTube page up. You can check out a lot of it to kind of get a feel of what's going on. Uh, the This feel that you get from a lot of these videos, that is the feel of the show. This isn't just promo. Uh, this is like you go back backstage, which is like CD office area for the crime boss, um, and there's a conversation that happens. You know, it is like we made the wrestler movie in Espanol. Um, but it's, it, it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Is that Riz? Ole. 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 So go check that out. Um, cool to see something different. The other different thing popping up, and I'm going to, I don't know if you guys have read this more. I need to pull up the 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 oh. uh, press release. But I mean, we'll talk about this probably a little more on Indie Mayhem. I'm not sure what the plans are yet. Uh, but Global Force Wrestling is going to show a Japanese show. Apparently. Yep. Yawn. Uh, Yawn, Yawn, really? It's not, it's not a Global Force Wrestling show. No, but they're kind of presenting it, right? They're presenting it to American audiences. Okay. Uh, and I, I just can't wait until later on where Jeff Jarrett wins the New <laughs> Japan Pro Wrestling Championship. Uh, and we all for, And he, all and he somehow feuds with AJ Styles. Yeah. <laughs> Even though they're they are technically on the same team, TNA has happened before. 
I think this is going to be like uh, when Quentin Tarantino uh, sees a movie he likes and he's like, I bet they'd like that in America. And it, <laughs> it comes out in America uh, with the same title, but just says Quentin Tarantino presents and nobody watches it. Okay. That's what this is going to be. <laughs> I think it could be. I think it could be. Now, okay, the, well, isn't the biggest alternative is to bring in New Japan at this point? Um, those interests of making it at least at least making it more accessible for those that want to find it that are like looking it up on YouTube. I guess. Yeah. I, I mean, guess. It, well, I mean, you have some of the New Japan style. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, if you're talking about bringing the actual people, mm-hmm. I don't think bringing in new people is bringing in a new style. It's just bringing in the same style. No, no, well, I'm more concerned with like people finding all terms of wrestling and being exposed to more, more wrestling. We're getting something completely different with Lucha Underground. Um, in, in this case, Global Force Wrestling is saying, hey, America, check out some New Japan Pro Wrestling, which is going to be shown on... Is it going to be shown on pay-per-view? Am I seeing this right? Yeah, on pay-per-view in North America, which is, I think, the first time this has happened. You know, um, I... I, I think it is an accessibility. My, my exposure to Japanese wrestling was strangled mania through the insane clown posse. You know, <laughs> it was an access point, right? That it was like, wow, what is this thing that's out there? Right. I got exposed to that before I had ECW long before I had ECW. Um, and, and this puts it out on a broader market. Yeah, what we, you know, we're talking, it's on the direct TVs, the dishes, the at ts Also, everybody's scrambling to replace WWE. Uh-huh. So that leaves a gaping hole for some of these guys to pop in. So, um, Wait, do you mean TNA? What? They're struggling yeah. to replace TNA. Yeah, they're not going to replace WWE. They're oh replacing... no, I'm talking about on pay per view. They're trying to replace WWE because oh, those numbers no, are dwindling. That's not going to happen. They're looking for. Well, wait, 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 wait. Okay, even though if you look at those numbers, and I guess we didn't dive into those numbers, even though those numbers are smaller. They're still oh, yeah, bigger than that, everything sorry. else wrestling, probably. Uh-huh. So replace them, no. But there's a it's a leaky ship, and eventually something uh-huh. in their minds they're like, okay, what's the next thing on pay per view that's going to pop? As in, pay per view's not going away because we don't want it to. So they're yeah, gonna... but, but I think the reason WWE went away from pay per view in the first place is because pay per view charges too damn much. Yeah. Yeah. Which and is, WWE is like, why would we pay someone to distribute our product if mm-hmm. we can distribute it, offer it for cheaper for our fans, and then get all of the profit? Exactly, exactly, and ac- make it accessible and and find other revenues, including the advertising. Yeah, so unless, on unless, unless you unless you're thinking that the pay per view companies are going to like offer Global Force or New Japan or whoever a pre- a cheaper rate. To stream the stuff it ain't gonna happen. That's well, why people, I, I think why they already are because I think they already are because they're a lesser product. I, I, I'm, I'm sure these global force would probably be like twenty bucks, right? Uh, hey, I, you think? I don't think so. I, I don't know. I haven't looked at pay per view rates for a while. I'd be interested to look at that. All right, guys. On that note, we got to roll out of here. Let me know what did you learn from wrestling this week, Mike? You always got something. Oh, what did I learn from wrestling this week? And this week I... he doesn't have anything. <laughs> no, I, I learned the amazingness of Lucha Underground. And I learned that I think if it goes the way I think it's going to go from week to week, I think this might be the new wrestling alternative. Nice. Nice. I hope so. hope so. hope it's the next Wrestlelicious. Uh, they don't have a song. <laughs> they don't have a song. And I don't think any of us, I don't think any of us could sing the song uh, because it'd be Spanish. Uh, how about you, Riz? Like I said, I learned that Jeff Jarrett's about to win another world title, everybody. <laughs> He's going global. My God. TNA Bound for Glory is fifty two ninety nine on I love how Global Force is just another way of saying global impact. I was mm-hmm. hey, Mast Mania Lucha Libra is ten ninety nine on pay per view. Just want to point world that out. impact. Point that out. Um, and, and I feel like this global force thing is going to be in the same vein as something like that. But that's my thoughts. Uh, what about you, Wheels? What'd you learn from wrestling this week? I have learned that it will probably be five to ten years before I buy another WWE video game. Oh, no. That's a lie. That's a lie. That is a bold-faced lie. Okay, maybe two years. Okay, I I agree, two. Okay, I agree. Yeah, I I agree, Mike. I'm sorry, you're right. Ten is too long. Five is even too long. I'll say two to three. 
So I've learned until 2K learns how to make a video game, it'll be two to three years before I pick up another WWE game. Wow. I still think that's a lie. What about you, LB? Uh, I learned that Sheamus held the U.S. title for so long that his epic level WWE supercard picture was him holding the U.S. title. <laughs> Too long. Too long. Are you sure, are you sure yes. they didn't just release that one in the most recent People's Champion thing? I am sure. Okay. Just- and I'm very excited because now maybe the U.S. title will be defended. Hopefully. Every every week. Every week. We're so every. Crushed. Bobby of J-Town. Fucking week. Do you have a... a, a fucking cast. Do you have I a, learned that I have found a new love this week. Is it me? Sasha Banks. Whoa! The boss. The boss. Oh, Bobby. Watching NXT and then her, her Joker costume. Unbelievable. And, and plus, she's, a, but she, a love. she's teaming with my girl. Yeah, that's true. So, But the last time you had a love like that, mm-hmm. Randy Orton got hurt. <laughs> I know. Don't uh, love it too hard. Don't love it I, too I, hard, Bobby. I, I've replaced Randy Orton with, <laughs> with Sasha Banks. <laughs> And as we all do, and Bobby and John and my timeshare in C Nation. That's right. That's right. For for, for one week during Christmas. That's right. Wow, <laughs> it's going to be a wonderful week, and you're never going to want to leave. Trust Happy me. Happy holidays, y'all. Happy holidays. Actually, I'll figure. I learned from a gentleman in the line at the uh, the first Niagara Center in Buffalo, New York, that Buffalo is the most lucky city. In all the country, because they got Raw live to be on national TV Raw last night. Buffalo. In the Buffalo. <laughs> Guys, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you so much. Thank you to our, our Indie Mayhem guests that's waiting for us to finish this damn show so we can mm-hmm. do that show. Uh, but you can check that out, Indie Mayhem Show, uh, over on WrestlingMayhemShow.com and join that at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, around about live.sorgatronmedia.com. We're the Wrestling Mayhem Show. About 9 p.m. We do some fun stuff at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, big thanks to Basic Sickness. Big thanks to Mike Allen, who really wants to go to bed. He's been doing show notes for us all night long at Mike Allen PR. Give him a what's up. Be like, hey, we appreciate what you do. So we can find what's out what the show's man? about because we can't tell what's by up? listening to it. What's up? People over here, what's up? There you go. Um, <laughs> you can also. I can only do this dance for so long. <laughs> Oh, oh, there you go. I'm going to let his dance happen. Wait, if it refreshes, there he goes. Uh, hey, while well, well, I'll be dancing for you guys on video, there you go. Please go check out our other shows, Raw Wrap-Up, Midweek Mayhem, and the Wrestling Game Show um, over on iTunes and Stitcher and YouTube. Just Epic look them up. Battle. Look them up. Look them up. And if you're interested in getting involved with the Wrestling Game Show, uh, hit us up at goodtimes.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. <laughs> We'll make it happen. Uh, uh, awesome cast. I'm no, no, no. That was someone, what? Matt Mayhem Show, Bob Twitter, Battle. Wrestling Mayhem uh, Show, Facebook, Google Plus, and please subscribe to everything on Stitcher, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, YouTube. York, there's one more thing we have to do. Oh, there's we... no other things we need to do, Mike. We need to sing Happy Birthday, to Missy. Uh, she is not in attendance, and she will oh, not listen to the show. Okay. <laughs> We can well, do that. We need to everybody give a shout out to everybody happy. needs to at Rebellious Flaw on the Twitters and sing our happy birthday via Twitters. If you can do that right now, one that'd be awesome. Time. How do you that'll sing be... on Twitter? Uh, I'll figure it out. Figure you it put out. Emoji musical notes, Bobby. So with that, we'll see you guys next time. Please support us on ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS and Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. And we'll see you guys next week. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.